Hello good day viewers, this tutorial is for the kids. One of my followers said, Good morning sir, my child is struggling with multiplication of decimal numbers. Please help. So for every child out there struggling with multiplication of decimal numbers, watch. So in this tutorial, we are going to multiply these two combinations. Let's start with this one. We have 3.4 multiplied by 7. Let me show you how to multiply decimal numbers. We have 3.4. We would like to multiply that by 7. 7 is a whole number. You should know that. And 3.4 is a decimal number with how many decimal points? Only one because to find out the number of decimal points in a decimal number, you have to count the number of digits after decimal point. This is a decimal point, right? Then we have only four to the right. So this number contains one decimal place. What about this one? Zero, because we do not have any number. Though we know naturally seven has a decimal point right here. So you can add as many zeros as possible, but that does not make it to be a decimal number. So to multiply 3.4 by 7, you should pretend as if you are dealing with whole numbers. If we consider this as a whole number, it would be 34, right? Though we know it is 3.4. So just pretend as if there is no decimal point there. Multiply the numbers naturally. Always start with the, the bottom right number, which is 7, though we have only one digit here. Take that number, multiply with the uh, top right number, the first number to the right, which is 4. So 7 multiplied by 4 will give us 28. This is how 28 is written, right? 28. So write the unit number, which is 8. Then you have 2 left for a moment. Then continue. 7 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 21. But that 21 should be added to this 2 extra to make it 23, right? So you also write 3, which is the right number. You have 3. Then you keep 2 aside. But we do not have any other number here to multiply by 7. So you can drop your 2 and you are done. But one thing you should observe here is that. 238 is not a decimal number. As you can see, we do not have any decimal point here. Therefore, we cannot say that 3.4 multiplied by 7 is equal to this. Never. So how can we bring back the decimal point? You should count the number of decimal points you have in all of the numbers. First number, we have one decimal point, right? Second number, we do not have any. So altogether, we have one decimal point or one decimal place, sorry. So naturally, this number has a decimal point in the end if it is a whole number, right? So bring it backward once because we have one decimal point. And therefore, 3.4 multiplied by 7 is 23.8. Let's move to the other one. We have 25.43. We would like to multiply that by 3.5. You don't have to align the decimal points. Never. Because we are not adding, neither subtracting. We would like to multiply. So again, we are going to pretend as if we are dealing with whole numbers. We are going to start with this number, multiply all of these numbers, then come back to this one. So let's start. 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. Write 5. Because 5 is to the right hand side of 15. But remember you have 1 left. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. 20 plus this 1 will give us what? 21. Right 1 here. But you still have 2 left. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. 25 plus 2 is 27, right? This is 27. Write your 7 here. But you still have 2 left. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. Right, this is how 12 is written, right? Right, 2, but you still have 1 left. But we do not have any other number left, so you bring down the 1. Then you come back to the second digit here, which is 3. But this time around, as you multiply, do not write it under 5. You have to be skipping one number. Suppose we have 
another one here if you are multiplying for the third time you have to skip one number again so 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 but do not write 9 here write it under the second digit to the right 3 multiplied by 4 is 12 write 2 you have 1 left right 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 plus that one you have 16 so you write 6 you keep 1 3 multiplied by 2 uh, is 6 plus that one you have 7 you draw a line and add all of these numbers together add them this time around 5 plus 19 is 5 1 plus 9 is 10 write 0 you know you have 1 you carry it all over uh, 7 plus 2 is 9 plus that one you have 10 again so 10 is 1 0 right write 0 you still have 1 um, 2 plus 6 is 8 plus that one you have 9 1 plus 7 is 8 all right so what we have here is 89,005 <laughs> but that is not the actual answer to find the actual answer you have to determine the number of decimal places for the first one you see after a decimal point we have two digits therefore this number has two decimal places while this one has one decimal place so all together we have three decimal places so you count one two three drop it here 89.005 is the answer for the multiplication of 25.43 by 3.5 as simple as that but the question is what if we have another digit here uh, for example suppose we have two here that is 23.5 the answer will not be the same right but take note of the okay let me just do it elsewhere so that i will not confuse everything let's assume we would like to multiply let me include 0, 0 0.053 for example 0 0.053 by uh, maybe 2.63 something like this another multiplication you start here as always 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 5 is 15, write 5, you have 1 left, 3 times 0 is 0 plus that 1, you have 1, then 3 times 0 is 0, right? We are done. Then come back to the second digit here, 6 times 3 is 18, do not write it on the 9, skip one digit, 18, 8, you have 1 left, right? Um, 6 times 5 is 30, plus this is 31, write 1, you still have 3 left. 6 times 0 is z 0 plus 3 is 3, right? 6 times 0 is 0. Then you move to the last one here, 2, multiplied by 3 is 6. Skip one digit here. Do not write it here. Six, uh, 2 times 6, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10. You have 1 left. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Then 2 times 0 is zero then you add all of these numbers together nine uh, this will give us 13 you have one left one plus one is two plus six is eight plus that one we have nine this is three this is one and this is zero right how many decimal places one two three take note of that one two three plus two is five one two three four five you see that therefore uh if you multiply 0 0.053 by 2.63 you're going to obtain 0 0.13939 simple as that thank you for watching do share to your and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos Bye bye